Hey there kids, welcome to another math video. This is for Eureka Math Grade 5, lesson, sorry, Module 2, Lesson 17, Homework. And hopefully you already did your homework and you're just checking your answers right now to see how you did. And the objective for this lesson is to use basic facts to approximate quotients with two-digit divisors. Now if you have not watched the problem set video, go watch that first. I've got excellent notes on that video and it will really explain what's happening here because we're not gonna be rounding as we have been with our whole uh, normal rounding with the like vertical number line and the five and above, you round up and the four and below. We're not doing that with uh, this real life strategy which is how we're gonna get into long division eventually. So, um, we're going to estimate the quotient for the following problems. The first one has been done for you. Let's jump right in. This is okay. Remember, our strategy is to round the divisor first. If you don't understand what the divisor is, go watch the problem set video because I explain everything and its location in that video. So here we go. On B. We're going to start by rounding the divisor first because we're now going to look for multiples of this number in this number. So we're going to make it as simple as possible. All of today is about estimating and making your life easy. Sometimes estimating is just the best way. Now, a couple lessons ago, we talked about offsetting zeros. So the second step after you do your estimation is to look for pairs of zeros so that you can eliminate them to leave you with something simple, which is your now simple division problem, 60 divided by 2, which is really 6 divided by 2 for 3 with that extra zero. So your final answer is 30. Now remember, there are so many lessons that are getting kind of tied together with this, but Everything centers on the fact that you must know your math facts. If you're still not there, go practice with flashcards and on those multiplication.com games that I keep recommending. Play them a lot and keep practicing. Round the divisor first. We're going to end up with a 40. So we would just want to be close. They won't always be this easy. And then we want to have a multiple of this number for this. And yes, you can use 800. Noticing the offsetting or a pair of zeros, one here, one here, which leaves 80 divided by 4, which is 8 divided by 4 for 2, and then bring down your zero. So once you get going, it's really fun and easy. Round the divisor first. Let's use 50 and skip count by fives. Now notice that, like I said, they're going to give you numbers that are maybe in between. So some kids will say, well, I want to go up to 500, and other kids will say, I want to go down to 450. It's totally up to you because today we're estimating, and so it doesn't really matter. So if you have your 500 and you notice your offsetting zeros, then you can say, I've got 10 for my final answer. Uh, if you have um, 450, you would have 9. So with the offsetting zeros. Okay, next one. We've got round the divisor first, 48 rounds to 50. Then use any multiple of 5, which could be 500, or it could be 550. So it's really up to you because you're going to have your, um, your options there. So offset, if you use 500, offset your zeros, and then you've got only one thing left to do, 10. And if you use this one, you'll have 11. See, and they're very close. So you have lots of options. So round the divisor first. Use 70. Now we have a multiple of 7. And on this one, you can use your first two digits. So instead of using 141, don't go all the way down to 100 because that would not be a multiple of 7. Use 140 so that you can offset your zeros and divide 14 by 7. And then you get 2. All right, next one. What do you do first? Round the divisor first. So now we have multiple a multiple of 8 that is close to, use the first two digits, because sometimes you have to lump a few more in. Close to 47, we're going to go to 48. This is when you need to know your facts. And then offset zeros, 48 divided by 8. Well, got to know it's 6, because 6 times 8 is 48. Thanks, Joe.
And then the next one, round the divisor first. Use 69 to 70, multiple of seven. Then what is a multiple of seven that's close to 645 or the first two digits? That would be, you gotta know your facts, 630 because 63, you can get there by skip counting by seven. How many times? Offset your zeros and you get nine, okay? Now remember, these, these are pretty much the standard answers, but sometimes um, you may have something that's like, uh, that gives you a little bit of variety. That's okay because sometimes estimates may vary on these. Some of them are more obvious than others. Round the divisor first. When you get your 100, and of course I wanna make this as easy as possible, noticing that now I have two zeros on each side. 600 divided by 100 is six. You can always do your offsetting uh, pair, two and two, and then six divided by one is six. So that's another good uh, way to think about it too. Uh, it's kind of just up to you and then these things get easier with time. It's super blur. So we're gonna give it a second and it will focus. Look at that. Just if you talk real nice to these things, they do nice things for you. Round 26. Okay, here's another thing that some students like to do. Instead of using 30, which I'm gonna use right here, could they use 25 because it's close to 26? Yes, but again, we're just estimating. We kinda just wanna get close, so make it as easy as possible. This one is so close to 300, it really just makes sense to go ahead and move it to uh, the 30 and then use 300. Um, but of course, I'm not gonna stop you if you use 25 and then uh, you have to count. But that might not be uh, easy to count by if you're counting by 25s and trying to get into 300 and it won't have offsetting zeros. So since this one does, you can divide three by three and get your one and then bring down that extra zero that doesn't offset. All right, next one, round the divisor first. If I keep saying it, I know you will learn it. And then this, okay, it's pretty low for the um, 700s. If you think about multiples of eight, I know a lot of kids are gonna say, I wanna use 800. But there's one that's actually closer because eight times nine is what? 72. So if instead of 729, if you just use 720, you take your zeros and you offset, you've got a pretty simple division problem here. 72 divided by eight is nine. So I know a lot of kids are gonna bump that to 800. I'm not gonna stop you and you're pretty close if you get a 10 because nine is very close to 10. But don't forget to try to find something that's actually closer or more accurate. Now, here we have one that's exactly in the middle. So can you go down, can you go up? This is when you should start looking at the first two numbers. I always say round the divisor first, and that's what we have to do. But we're trying to get it to come to something that is close to this. So some students will say, well, if I round it to 30, then I can use 600, and I find that very easy. And other students will say, well, I wanna round it down to 20, and I want to use maybe 620. And, or they'll just take it to 600. It's totally up to you. I'm not going to stop you anyway. This is just estimating today. Uh, I'm going to use 30. And then I'm going to use 600. Because again, who likes to really work hard and think a lot? Not me. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. Bring down your 0 and end up with 20. And if you use something else, you'll get an answer that's really close to 20. And that's the goal for today is just get close. Next one, round the divisor first. And again, I've got my 90 and then I need a multiple that's near 83. And if you don't know your multiples, you might struggle. You might have to raise it all the way to 900, which you could, but there's actually a multiple that's pretty close to 83 and it's 810. So if you have your offsetting zeros, then 81 divided by nine, hopefully you know, is nine. But if you use 900 and 90, then you got 10, and that is also very close. So see how it all works out, it's very close. Okay, around the divisor first. Let's use 70, and then we want something close to 34. Can you think of a multiple that's close to that? I can, 35, because seven times five is 35. So I have my offsetting zeros, 
Then I have 35 divided by 7, and I don't have any more zeros to bring down, so my final answer is 5. Here's a fun one. Um, a lot of kids will say, ooh, ooh, I want to round to 10, but you know what? You don't really have to round this at all if you know that 55 is a multiple of 11. Now, knowing your multiples of 11 are fun and easy because it's just any digit but repeated for um, 11 through uh, times 9. So, um, you know, like the 22 and 33 and 44 and 55, etc. And so here, noticing I said 55, take that 550 and just use the 11, and that works great. If somebody wants to round it to 10, not going to stop you. You just have to come up with something that is a multiple. Some kids will say, well, I want to use 600 again. Try to get away from using only the hundreds because there are really some estimates that are better than others. There is no offsetting zero, no pair here. So you can get the five, but you also have to carry down that zero, okay, because you can't offset. There isn't one here, okay? I hope this is helpful. And I hope you got them all right. And remember, your answer, if it's slightly different, it's not wrong. It's just that you thought about things a little differently. Okay, on the back, we only have these two problems today. So Mrs. Johnson spent $611 buying lunch for 78 students. If all the lunches cost the same, about how much did she spend on each lunch? Notice the wording and how they set these up. If you have the total and you have the total, then you're breaking it down to a single. That's a division problem. So you want to set it up with division. You take the total amount that was spent, and then you divide it by how many students. And this is just like we had on the other side of the page. They give you the actual division problem. So we set it up with the actual. Then you can round your divisor first. And then you want to get a multiple of 8 that's close to 61. So you might be thinking, well, 64 is close. Now watch what I just did. I changed the 61 to 64, but you can't forget about this last place value position. When you round, and remember we're rounding with compatible numbers, not rounded numbers or like the actual rounding because you might say, well, this rounds to 610 or it rounds to 600 even. And I'll say, no, you need a compatible number. You need a friendly number. You need a number that can hold hands with eight. And 60 is not going to hold hands very well because you're going to have remainders. And we don't want remainders in today's lesson. Then you have, if you do it this way, your 640 divided by 80, you have offsetting zeros, 64 divided by 8, and you have about $8 on each lunch. Oh, by the way, and if you like these videos, click subscribe and come back again, and hopefully I can help you on another assignment. Number three and the last one, an oil well produces 172 gallons of oil every day. A standard oil barrel holds 42 gallons of oil. About how many barrels of oil will the well produce in one day? Explain your thinking. Notice again, having the total. Notice again, having the total of a barrel and trying to figure out narrowing it down to one day. That's a division problem. So take your 172 gallons, that is the total, and that is the dividend. That's going to come first. That's what's being shared out. And the oil barrel holds 42. So we're going to round the divisor first. This is what is our thinking. We're trying to train our thinking, round the divisor, and then skip count by this digit till we get something close to 17. Hopefully you're recognizing that 16 is a multiple of 4, okay? And then you have offsetting zeros, and then we have 16 divided by 4 is 4. And so um, it says how, about how many barrels? B-A-R-R-E-L-S. And so it's going to be about 4 barrels will be produced in a day. There you go. Don't you feel like a champ? All right, nice job for today, and we will see you on the next one. Good luck. Bye for now.